The following is a paid program, and the views expressed on this show do not represent the views of WJZ-FM, Intercom Communications, its sponsors, or affiliates. The following is a pre-recorded show. Welcome to Winning in Retirement with your host, Brian Akers, certified financial planner professional and founder of Akers Financial Group. Now, helping you win in your retirement, here's Brian Akers. Hello, I'm Brian Akers. Today, I'm with certified financial planner practitioner, Alex Monk. Good morning, Alex. How you doing, Brian? I'm doing all right. Now, you've been working with me and been in financial services for over eight years, or is it nine years yet? Oh, I I think we just turned over the leaf on nine years last month. All right. March, Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. So Alex has become one of our experts in our investment portfolio um, investment committee, where we do portfolio design. Alex does some of our investment trading. He also is a certified financial planner and has um, clients that he works with each and every day. It's been been a lot going on over the last few months, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, what about you, Brian? What do you do? I I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know what I'm doing actually. <laughs> actually, at Acres Financial Group, oh, we have these. Um, Employees, that's what we call them nowadays. And I think because they are actually social distancing and they're, a lot of them are working at home. And so I haven't really seen them and it feels like forever. Um, but we do communicate through all these fancy new softwares. There's, it's a whole new world when it comes to how Acres Financial Group is working and operating with their office and also with our clients. Are you been enjoying uh, video conferencing and phone conferencing? You know, I thought that when everyone said, oh, you have to stay at home for so long, I was like, great, less to do. But it turns out you can have 10 phone meetings in a day versus five in real real time. So we got busier, it seems. Um, absolutely. We're trying to respond and be proactive in this where what we're trying to do with our clients is sit down over the phone. So it's a little weird. We're sitting down staring at a phone or staring at a screen. Our clients are sometimes in their living room, their kitchen, on a couch, and then we're having our um, financial talks and reviews. Um, I've had a, a few new clients where the, the hello is through Zoom, and I get to meet them. We sort of wave at each other, and then we start talking. I notice that when I'm doing a phone call, I still wave my arms like I'm talking to, to them in person. Uh, so it's been a, enjoyable to see my own reaction. It's it's definitely a new world out there, and you know, a lot of people are concerned about the markets right now. Absolutely, they, really they can't. are. They see their accounts going down. Especially this was Statement Week, so Statement Week it came in the mail, and then they look at what the March thirty first first loss looked like, and then they want to see, well, is this all of my money? Thankfully, when we build portfolios, we have money in the market and money out of the market. And the money out of the market is protected from principal loss. So that kind of design has helped us to be able to answer clients with um, when they believe they've lost. Some some people say, I've I've lost everything, right, Brian? It's like, no. (laughs) What you got to do is look at it all together. And the design of the asset allocation that we do um, when we first meet clients helps us get through the worst of times. You know, and and Brian, I I don't like to toot my own horn that much. A little bit, yes. But... In times like these, our investment ph- philosophy really comes to fruition, if I can say that big of a word. Um, by having these principal protected buckets through a thing we like to use called asset allocation, we can be more proactive when the market does things like this. We're set up to do things that can s- help save principal, but also make money and save money on taxes in the long term. And that's really our goal for our clients is to be able to succeed regardless of whatever the market condition is. Because we can't control things like this virus. Right. But we have to always deliver their retirement check. So our retirees, their lifestyle, their flow of money comes from the investment portfolios that we design. So when we work with people as they get ready to build their retirement and build their retirement income plan... What we implement the plan into, what investments we choose, will dictate the risk level and the ability to deliver that income check each and every month, no matter what the market gives us. And we like to do it with the least amount of risk, not with the most amount of risk. Yeah, so we heard a a pretty good analogy. Just because you go down seven points in a football game, you don't start throwing Hail Mary passes. That's just not how it works. 
unless you're just that ill prepared for what's going on. And, and our goal for our clients is to really have a plan that works in any type of environment, no matter what the game is. Right. So beginning of this year, we started out and we thought, oh, it's going to be a bumpy year because we have an election coming up. No one thought that we'd have some type of whatever we got going on. But these things happen. And, and we're, our goal is not to try to predict them. It's to try to manage risk and retirement throughout these events for our clients. We want to be that that resource for them to go to when they're worried because you, tu- you turn the news on and it can get scary. It's emotional out there, Brian. The more you watch the news, the more you just listen, it basically causes anxiety and depression because I believe just like the news on snow days, they'll play it over, they'll play it for 24 hours that a flurry's coming, a snow's coming, and then they talk about everything shutting down. The same news to the good side and to the bad side in this, in this environment. The, the pandemic, pandemic with um, this COVID-19 virus has been a terrible thing. It is still going on. And there's going to be a slow process of the economy getting back to where it was. But what we'll see in the stock markets is where a little bit of good news, the market is going to roar up. And then when the ba- there's still more bad news to come in the future here. So as we work on investments, we want to try to take some of the emotions out of the market, some of the emotions out of the decisions you're trying to make. Part of that is knowing that you're okay. One way to know you're okay is to have six months to a year of cash to be able to handle downturns in the market. So how you withdraw income, how you build it is very important. And then when we get into is how do you invest in things like this. So the, what kind of opportunities do you see, Alex, when it comes to the market and the way it is right now? Well, we're seeing some interesting things right now that we've never seen before, Brian, um, especially from the federal government and some policies that they're taking. Because this is such an unprecedented thing, the the government's doing unprecedented reactions. So the size of the stimulus package that's already been passed, I'm pretty sure it exceeds what happened in the beginning of 08, 07, 08 with the housing crisis. And I know they're willing to do more and they're going to do more faster. Uh, So anything that we've learned in the past is that the government is going to be there to stabilize things. As we've seen that play out, we realize again that it's the government doing these things, so it's not perfect, it's not efficient, it's not fast. So we have to see, okay, what is this doing in the market? Who's the government saying they're going to stabilize, who's not? What assets are up, what assets are down? You can also look at based on asset classes. Do I have a lot of money in gold? Do I have no money in gold? Do I have money in real estate? Do I have, you know, where is all my money? And now's the time to see where, where do I have things that have retained their value? And when can I buy some things that are low? And that's pretty much a standard rebalance. If your asset allocation is correct, it can be a good thing to do it. So what that does is you sell some things that have remained high things that aren't related to the stock market and you buy some things that are low that would be related to the stock market. That being said, you can, there's some value traps out there. I don't know how many calls we've gotten about people wanting to buy airline or cruise stocks, Brian, but it's been a lot. Yep. We don't know which one's going to stay in business. Most likely all of them, but that's a hard thing. So, you know, we want people to make the plan dictate the investments, not the emotion. Not, uh, oh, I see Carnival Cruise Lines down 100% today, I need to buy some. Just because you buy it at $6 a share doesn't mean it can't go to zero. So there's a lot of displacement and a lot of emotion out there. Um, What have you been seeing when you're talking to people, Brian? Uh, Well, it comes down to really what their goals are. But it really starts out basically with what's their reactions been so far with the virus. Um, Some people that are my clients that are retired and they might be in their 70s, they're very concerned about their health, which is the way they should be. And they are looking at, well, just making sure they take care, make sure that they socially distant. Uh, They're very, they're spending a lot of time 
doing that as an action, which has allowed them not to worry about um, the stock side of maybe some of their investments. What happens is it comes down to the, the emotions that's going on in someone's life it really triggers their reaction to things. A lot of times when we're reacting to this information, we sort of get defensive and fall back and get nervous. And what we've found in some of, our, some of the talks I've had, even most recently, is really what are the opportunities right now? How can we improve what's going on in this environment? Can we upgrade our portfolio to higher quality investments? And that's sort of the talk and the steering that I've had with the clients is really, what are the things we can do? Now, just in the last month, we've been able to sort of finish planning with for people. Many times, as you know, people don't finish their plans. They don't like talking about estate planning and doing <laughs> wills and trusts. But that has been a topic that people have really gotten on board to understand that life is a, a fleeting thing. And we need to be prepared in our financial plan for that. And the current environment's kind of nice, Brian. You don't have to actually go to the attorney's office because not many people love attorneys. No offense to any listening. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's very true. Uh, what we've actually found is that a, b- a bunch of things going on. Now, one of the things I was thinking about is this. Uh, if you're doing the planning yourself or if you're using Uncle, Gar- Uncle Jerry to, to do your planning for you, um, if your nephew is Kevin and he's doing it for you, now's the time to not do it alone. Now it's not. The, now is actual time. You should have a professional helping with your financial planning. If your financial advisor you're currently working with just isn't giving you the um, the advice or the calming that you need, won't you give us a call? You can call Acres Financial Group, and we can set up a time to do a phone meeting or a video Zoom meeting. You can call eight three three Win Retire. That's eight three three W I N R E T I R E, or you can call the actual number which is 833-946-7384. Go to our website, acresfinancial.com. Alex, is this the right time to make changes in your portfolio? If it is, what changes should you make? We'll talk about that right after this break. You are unique. Just as no two fingerprints are alike, each individual's financial situation is uniquely their own. That's why the Acres Financial Group's team of advisors begins each relationship with a proven process that identifies your financial fingerprint. We'll guide you through a series of steps designed to provide a complete and accurate snapshot of where you are right now. Everything we learn about your financial fingerprint will become part of a detailed financial plan created especially for you. We'll never give you a cookie cutter proposal or suggest a one size fits all portfolio. The financial plan takes you from where you are now to where you need to be. Begin by discovering your financial fingerprint right now by going to GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. That's GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Are there times in some games you wish you could just turn on the TV at the two-minute warning? Because that's the most important part of the game, right? As a fan, these are the most exciting moments. Your team could take home the victory or crumble under pressure. But when it comes to your retirement, don't wait until the last two minutes. So much can happen in the final working years before retirement. Whether you're in your 50s or 60s, near or already in retirement, there's still time to put a plan in place. Don't wait until right before you retire to begin planning for your future. Can you win the retirement game like that? Come in and talk with the team at Acres Financial Group. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. Imagine you're retired. You wake up in the morning and you don't even know what day it is. Every day seems like a Saturday. You can sleep in, cook a nice full breakfast without thinking about morning traffic or work deadlines. The Saturday calmness you used to crave is now your everyday feeling. You're not worried about your retirement income or how your investments are doing. Your biggest decision that day is where you're going to drink that first cup of coffee. Is that the kind of retirement you want? If it is, then sit down and talk with the team at Acres Financial Group. They want to help you get there. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. 
The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. You're listening to a pre-recorded show. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. Call 833-WIN-RETIRE now to schedule a visit with Brian and his team and begin winning in retirement. Once again, here's Brian Akers. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. I'm Brian Akers. Here with me today is Alex Monk. Uh, we are certified financial planner practitioners at Akers Financial Group. Now, right before the break, I asked you, Alex, is this the right time to make changes in your portfolio? If it is, what changes should you make? What do you think, Alex? Uh, so, Brian, I think there's never a wrong time to do the right thing with your money, but you got to have a plan. You can't just make it off emotions. Emotions are how we do the wrong thing in investing. When people turn the news on and they start freaking out. That is not the time to make changes. That's not the time to do anything serious. You need to sit down with someone that's been through these type of markets, that knows how to handle it. I don't get emotional when I see red in the morning, Brian, because the market we know is going to go down. These things happen. We want to make sure that clients are making thoughtful, planned out decisions mm-hmm. and that they have an answer they're, they're seeking, not just, oh, I want to make 20% every year in the market. We need to have goals. We need to have short, medium, long-term goals. We need to have a balanced risk approach to the market. There's a lot of things that, that can be done. I think you mentioned in the first segment, Brian, about flight quality. What does that mean? A flight to quality. I was trying to figure out about a flight to Florida, a flight to sunlight. Um, Hopefully weather will turn soon and we'll understand what flying is again. But what happens is this, is that there are stocks that are actually raising their dividend in this current environment. And then there are many stocks and many industries that have cut their dividend completely. A dividend is a is a payment that's, that companies can provide to their shareholders. It's part of their profit, part of their cash flow, and it's a sign of strength. So when we're looking at investing money into companies that are strong, if you want a company that's going to, to, sur- to survive well and do well in the overall um, volatility of markets, dividend-paying stocks um, really, really do well because you're already making return off of them paying you. And then you get that extra dividend, you're buying more shares, you're buying more shares of your mutual fund. That kind of thing helps you grow your portfolio. It helps you not go down as far as a pure growth stock might do at times like this. Now, you say growth stock. Um, and now people, people hear growth and they hear value. Value is when the company pays dividends, growth, they're typically not going to be paying dividends because their main focus is for the company to grow. In order to grow, you, you got to keep the cash in the business. I don't know if people watch Shark Tank, but Kevin O'Leary is always trying to do those royalty deals, and they, that's not good for a growth company when they have to send cash out. But the value, <laughs> you, you like the Kevin O'Leary? Or do you like Mark yeah. Cuban, Brian? Oh, my. Uh I actually like Barbara and um, oh, the QVC lady. I forgot her first name, Laurie, I think. But I, I like the ladies more Laurie, than yeah. I like the guys. I mean, they, they get it done. But they, I like them better. Yeah, well, and and then, now... Move past Shark Tank. We'll move, we'll move right past that. <laughs> yeah. We'll move on past that. But that's, that's kind of the idea is what are these companies doing with their cash? Are they paying their owners for being loyal owners of their business? Like a J&J paying dividends, something like that? Or is it... A company like Under Armour, where they're focused on growth. Mm-hmm. You know, we have to look at what do we own and what are people going to want to hold in this time period. When interest rates go down, that is done to, in, in effect, stimulate the economy. So it's a low cost of borrowing money. That also means you're not going to get much on your savings. Your CD rates are going to drop. Your savings account rates are going to drop. So these dividends are really the only way that you can have your money work for you. But in order to get that you know, rate of return, you have to have volatility. Now, there are other ways to make money, and that's through different types of assets, different types of investments. 
but it's all part of the same mix. You know, we need to have a bunch of different tools in our bag for when X happens. And that's our real goal for clients is to be able to function and have the same quality of life regardless of the market conditions. All right, so right now it sounds like a car show where you're explaining to me all the parts inside of an engine. If we had to make it simple, uh, sort of a way of just looking at the, the client, we're sitting in front of them, we're talking about their investments, and we're, we're right now we're deep diving in real deep. If we're going to just do sort of a, an overview and say generally, what is our Acres financial way of investing money when it comes to a client that has a goal of being able to retire and draw income from it? What would be the general idea that Acres Financial does for our clients? So I'd say we kind of borrowed this one from Julius Westheimer and we say age minus 100, that's what you should have in stocks or risky assets. The rest needs to be set up where we're not going to lose. And that's pretty simple, pretty basic. Now, the mechanics, we can get as deep as we want. I mean, you just saved me from jumping further down that rabbit hole, Brian. I appreciate that. We don't want anyone falling asleep. Uh, but I'm hoping this, the I'm basic hope- approach... Go ahead. I was just saying, I was hoping that people that are driving and they're listening to the show, that they just don't go into a daze. Or if we're just at home listening on, on all the other ways of listening to the radio nowadays, that you'll be able to listen and say, well, that's something I need to do. So what happens is this. When you think about your statements and your investments, if you have a one-to-one relationship with the market, with all of your money, we believe that that is fundamentally wrong. If you have 100% of your money at risk, we believe that is wrong. If you are trying to have reliable, stable income that's going to grow throughout your life and keep up with inflation, what we have to do is invest our money in a diversified way with a game plan where we have protected money that's absolutely protected, and then our portfolio design is going to be diversified. That diversification will help you take, a, take advantage of opportunities in markets like we've had in the last two months. Do you know, Monk, that we've actually had a bear market and a bull market all since the middle of March? You know, I believe that. Last week, the Dow, or was it late? It was last week. Sorry, the weeks all blend together here. Last week, the Dow did 12% in one week. Yep. That's crazy. Well, the market was down 38%, and then to get back to where it was, you got to go 61%. And, and that, as of Friday morning, yesterday morning, what happened was the market was up um, 30% from the bottom. So any move beyond 20% up, a, a bull market. Any move 20% down is a bear market, but those are very short term. Over the long term is we're in a very, very cyclical, volatile market. Every market swing up makes me think we're going to be pulling back again. So when it comes to investing in this kind of time, if you have 100% of your money tied at risk, you got to take these up days as opportunities to diversify If you have money in high-risk bonds or if you have money on the sideline, there's ways to enter into a market like this or actually to implement the protected side, depending on what you and your family needs. Right. And one one of the big things is, especially here at Acres, is don't sell on a down day. Down days right now can be five, six percent. I mean, it's we're starting to stabilize, but that is not the day you want to be selling. That is the day you want to be looking to put money in if you're if that's your scenario. If you need to generate cash, like Brian was saying, look for one of these good up days where there's some type of news, some type of some type of future looking statement that's really making the market run. Because we have seen, just like Brian said, a bull and a bear market in the last two months. That's that's <laughs> not been done in a while. Uh, no. When we had the recovery after March of 2009, when it hit its ultimate bottom, it took a long time. It took seven years for the Dow to come all the way back. It took the NASDAQ more than 12 years to come all the way back from the, from like oh, from 2000 um, to be able to get to where it needs, needed to be again. The, the stock market is a place to invest money. It's our moderate, medium-term, or beyond risk. 
that kind of risk is money that we need to keep up with inflation over time. The crazy thing about investing in these days is we have to invest when things are not looking good. We need to sell when things look great. So it's a strange thing to do actual investing in that you got to do the opposite of your emotion, opposite of what the general news might be saying. You need to think about your portfolio. We want, highly recommend you don't do day trading. Lots of people are doing day trading and they're believing they're going to make all their money that way. What I'm trying to do is actually just get people to look at their portfolio for the long run, to make sure they have everything fit that fits their goals and their financial planning. Yeah, day trading, I know the guys on CNBC make, make it look easy, but when they're a different animal, they have more money, they have more technology than us, Don't you don't want to be that guy. That's not for everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. What we've seen out there is that certain retirement plans are set up so that they are automatically selling stock to give them their monthly income. Is that, a, is that a thing you should be doing where you lock in losses like that? Is it just running automatically like that? Is your financial advisor that you currently have calling you and say, hey, we need to rethink this. We, maybe, we shouldn't be taking money out of the stocks when they're down. If it's not what you're hearing, maybe you need a good second opinion. You can call us at Acres Financial Group at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-W-I-N. R-E-T-I-R-E. When you call, you can leave a message with Susan and she'll call you back on Monday. And to answer any question or schedule a phone or a video appointment with one of our team of advisors, start planning for your retirement now by calling 833-946-7384 or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Hey, Alex, we've never seen a bond market like we're having right now. Are bonds safe? We'll talk about that right after this break. Acres Financial Group was founded on the principles of integrity, trust, and service. We believe each and every client is unique and deserves advice and implementations that apply directly towards their personal financial fingerprint. This financial fingerprint tells us the objective risk tolerance and purpose of the investment and insurance tools that we use to assist their clients in reaching their goals by discovering the purpose of each financial decision. We can help you accomplish your goals. Intelligent financial design starts with a detailed balance sheet and cash flow to know where to start. This leads to a financial decision that will allow you to reach your goals with your risk tolerance in mind. Our relationships begin with an initial consultation and grows with each meeting. We would be thrilled to work with you and begin your planning process. Call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-946-7384. Or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Hi, this is Jesse Cunningham, the owner of Mountain View Insurance. And we are proud to be affiliated with Acres Financial Group. We, too, base our business on integrity, service, and acknowledge that every client's insurance needs are unique to their own situation. At Mountain View Insurance, we specialize in car insurance, home insurance, and umbrella coverages, all designed to protect your assets that you've worked so hard to earn. When serving our clients, we focus on creating a protection plan that is appropriate to your needs. After we determine the correct plan, we then go to shop for you. Mountain View Insurance is an independent insurance brokerage, and that means we have access to many top national and regional insurance carriers. Let us build an appropriate and affordable insurance plan for you and give us a call directly at 410-262-3176. Once again, that's 410-262-3176. This is Jesse Cunningham, owner of Mountain View Insurance, and I look forward to hearing from you. You are unique. Just as no two fingerprints are alike, each individual's financial situation is uniquely their own. That's why the Acres Financial Group's team of advisors begins each relationship with a proven process that identifies your financial fingerprint. We'll guide you through a series of steps designed to provide a complete and accurate snapshot of where you are right now. Everything we learn about your financial fingerprint will become part of a detailed financial plan created especially for you. We'll never give you a cookie cutter proposal or suggest a one size fits all portfolio. The financial plan takes you from where you are now to where you need to be. Begin by discovering your financial fingerprint right now by going to GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. That's GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. Member FINRA SIPC. 
You're listening to a pre recorded show. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. Call 833 Win Retire now to schedule a visit with Brian and his team and begin winning in retirement. Brian Akers of Akers Financial Group is a registered representative offering securities through Kalos Capital Incorporated and investment advisory services through Kalos Management Incorporated. Akers Financial Group is not an affiliate or subsidiary of Kalos Capital or Kalos Management and does not provide tax and legal services. Advice given on winning in retirement. Retirement is general in nature, and one should seek further advice from their financial advisor, broker, attorney, or tax accountant before investing. Be sure to read each prospectus carefully to understand all the risks associated with each investment. Once again, here's Brian Akers. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. I'm Brian Akers. Here with me today is Alex Monk, Certified Financial Planner Practitioner at Akers Financial Group. Alex Monk's been with in the financial services about nine years now as a certified financial planner and an advisor for our clients at Acres Financial Group. Monk brings many things to the table for our people that we have. He's one of our members and of our portfolio investment committee. He helps trade and manage some of the money that we actually um, manage day to day for our clients. He has a lot of jobs, a lot of hats he wears, uh, really needs to wear those hats because of extra skin showing up on the top side there, right, Monk? That is correct. So uh, it turns out you don't need dandruff shampoo. You need suntan lotion when you lose your hair. Yeah. Thankfully, I've been blessed with hair still, um, but usually that's, when you yeah, get... That's strange, Brian, because you've been doing this for, what, 30 years? Most guys end up losing their hair. Yeah. Well, I found if you just eat well and keep eating, you're, you do all right. <laughs> um, it's one of those things. Um, it shows up in different ways. Your hair goes away or you gain weight from just being sitting down talking with people so much. So in financial planning, yes, I've been 30 years. It was 1987 when we when I first started in financial planning as an assistant to the assistant. I started at the bottom. I was at minimum wage. I was learning anything and everything that I could do. And the first thing I learned three months after um, working for a financial planner is that the 1987 October stock market crash, and that was a 27% or drop in one day on a Monday. So that was one of the first learning experiences that I had. Also, we saw tax law changes that changed a lot of things when it came to real estate. And what used to be limited partnerships was a big deal, um, tax credits, things like that. One of the things I wanted to do, Monk, is this. I keep calling you Monk. That's because that's your last name, Alex Monk. I'll answer to the first or the last, either order. All right. All right, so the question I had at the end of the second quarter that we had of our show, I said, um, basically about the bond interest rates, there's some things that we really need to go over, and that is this. We've never seen the bond market like we're seeing right now. Are bonds a safe investment for people to put money into? All right, Brian, so bonds are what a lot of people have in their portfolio as something that is used to balance risk. Now, a bond is meant to be held for at least, you know, typically five, ten years or something like that. They're not supposed to be traded a lot. That is what we saw happening when the stocks went down. People said, well, well I better sell my bonds. Well, when there's too many people selling, everyone knows what happens to the price. It goes way down. So right now, the federal government has actually started buying some of these bond funds to stabilize prices, if you will, without, I don't want to sound too negative. So what that means is, if there's ever a real run on the bond market, the way we just saw, your bonds are not safe. They have gone down in value. So if your theory is I have 40% in bonds, I'm not that risky, this last month you found out that you were wrong. Eventually, there's longer term issues for the federal government stepping in and doing the things that they're doing. So now is a good time to look at, at the portfolio and say, all right, do I own any bonds? What structure are my bonds in? Do I own them individually? Do I plan to hold them? That's a good good structure, I think. What do you think, Brian? Sometimes in these seminars, I'll explain individual bonds versus a bond mutual fund. And the way I explain it is this, is that an individual bond is like a woman. A woman becomes mature. 
a individual bond, we know that on their maturity date, you get all of your money back. So that means, means there are a lot less risk. Your risk is between the day you buy it and the, and the maturity date on whether the government, that company, can pay that debt back off. Now, I believe that bond mutual funds are more like guys in that we never mature. We That's never mature. Good. So a bond, a bond fund has a collection of bonds, like a big, huge bucket of bonds, and all those pieces mature at different times. But there is, there's not going to be a date when you get your money back under the contract because you have so many bonds. That collection of bonds, we don't know the maturity. Now, some bond funds have things called duration, and they try to design what time period in general they have it. But it's not like owning an individual bond where you know what the day you get your money back. So the difference between individual, individual bonds and bond mutual funds is about maturity and the guarantee. The bonds are all, all designed on the risk level. If it's a government bond, like a double E or I bond, that's safe money. That's money that's going to come back to you. Not going to make a lot of interest on those right now. The 10-year the treasury is at amazing 0.64. I'm not going to double Ooh. your money, except I think you double your money every 70-some years at that rate. And that's not really uh, a feasible thing, right? We need people to be able to double their money in 20 years. 10? Um, well, I like I like 10 as an answer, as a 7.2% is a great return trying to shoot for that. Because what we like to do is have people withdrawing at a 3 to 4% rate and then having some money that's able to grow on top of that where we're not drain, draining the portfolio at such a, such a quick rate where it'll disappear and not have any money. We hate to see the principle of a portfolio going on a downward trend I'm too early in someone's life. Brian, now I'm going to use a word that a lot of people are scared of when I talk about bond replacement. And that, that for us is fixed or fixed indexed annuities. And that's the word right there that scares people, right? They hear that word and they're like, I don't want it. There's this guy on TV telling me they're terrible. Then there's this other guy that says they're great. What's the real answer? They're a tool, right? There's good ones, there's bad ones, but there are good ones that fit and they do not have the principal risk that people's bonds have. And for me, that's a huge thing. When I tell a 70-year-old widow that she's going to be okay, I better mean it. Because that's something I take very seriously. Fixed indexed, fixed annuities, they, you know, they either have a guaranteed r rate of return or they have a, a rate of return tied to an index. However, they're structured, they're, they can't go down, meaning there won't be a principal loss. And that is what we're looking for when it comes to balancing risk in our portfolios. Right, Brian? Um, absolutely, because... Over time, when we think back at the other major downturns over the last 20-some years, you think back to 9-11 on that Tuesday morning when the stock market, bond market all shut down as terrorists destroyed the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Um, it was just a horrible, horrible day. But it also shut down all the markets. Stocks and bonds all went down 20, 30 percent when they reopened the next week. And so what people thought were having a balance of cash, stocks, and bonds was a great portfolio. And well, that's still what people think with these target date funds nowadays, but in reality is that they're all subject to all kinds of risk, all kinds of financial risk, market risk, things we can't control. How do we make it through terrible times like that? And what I learned back after 9-11 was that I wanted the protected money to be protected. And the research we did is that how did people get through the 1920s and through the 1930s, uh, through the Great Depression? One of the answers was fixed annuities backed by insurance companies that have been around 150 years or longer. The guarantees of a, of a guaranteed insurance company are guarantees that can be very reliable over time. Not all insurance companies are made the same. There's some very low-rated companies you've got to watch out for. But you need to have some very high-quality annuities. We also like to ladder them and to design a portfolio of these with multiple companies, multiple time horizon. And, and Brian, what you said there about what was happening in the Depression is such a, a big deal for me, being a history buff and, and loving seeing how the markets work. 
These companies have been around for hundreds of years. They've seen it all. They have to have more money on hand than they have promised. And that that financial security is 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 a good place to be when we are going through volatile times. Now, when the stock market does 20%, these things are not going to do that. That's not their goal. It's kind of like the running game, right? When it's raining out, what do you do? You hand the ball off and you just try not to fumble it. Guess what? It's raining. <laughs> Where do you need to be? And and that's in a safer, more, you, know, you don't need to hit home runs every time up. You just need to get a little bit and make sure you're not going to go backwards. Because the example you gave in the uh, the second quarter of how much we have to come back from the the top line is crazy. Absolutely. So you just did football and baseball in like two sentences. And then I guess we have to add basketball about when you're coming from behind, you got to press. Um, if you want to stop the inside game, you zone them up. There's all kinds of defensive things you can do. An annuity would be a defensive um, vehicle, a defensive tool to add to a portfolio. So one of the things we're doing today is we're talking about the markets, talking about investment decisions. We want you to win in retirement. You can do that by calling Acres Financial Group to schedule a free meeting with one of our team of advisors. You can call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE or go to our website at acresfinancial.com. Hey, Alex, just because the market has come down doesn't mean it's easier for you to make money out there. We'll explain that and much more right after this. Imagine you're retired. You wake up in the morning and you don't even know what day it is. Every day seems like a Saturday. You can sleep in, cook a nice full breakfast without thinking about morning traffic or work deadlines. The Saturday calmness you used to crave is now your everyday feeling. You're not worried about your retirement income or how your investments are doing. Your biggest decision that day is where you're going to drink that first cup of coffee. Is that the kind of retirement you want? If it is, then sit down and talk with the team at Acres Financial Group. They want to help you get there. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. Long before 18-year-old Brooks Robinson was signed to play third base, and years before Natty Bow began brewing at the corner of Conkling and O'Donnell Streets, Baltimore families relied on the Evans family and the Evans Funeral Chapel and Cremation Services to help them during some of their most important family moments. Hi, I'm Charlie Evans, and for four generations, my family and I have been there for families, providing care and compassion in their time of need. Evans Funeral Chapel and Cremation Services provides the best facility, staff, and personalized service for your family. We have three convenient locations to serve the community, Parkville, Forest Hill, and Hereford. For more information, visit us online at evansfuneralchapel.com or call 410-665-9444. Evans Funeral Chapel and Cremation Services, serving Baltimore families since 1865. I invite your confidence. Acres Financial Group was founded on the principles of integrity, trust, and service. We believe each and every client is unique and deserves advice and implementations that apply directly towards their personal financial fingerprint. This financial fingerprint tells us the objective risk tolerance and purpose of the investment and insurance tools that we use to assist our clients in reaching their goals by discovering the purpose of each financial decision. We can help you accomplish your goals. Intelligent financial design starts with a detailed balance sheet and cash flow to know where to start. This leads to a financial decision that will allow you to reach your goals with your risk tolerance in mind. Our relationships begin with an initial consultation and grows with each meeting. We would be thrilled to work with you and begin your planning process. Call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-946-7384. Or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Member FINRA SIPC. You're listening to a pre-recorded show. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. Call 833-WIN-RETIRE now to schedule a visit with Brian and his team and begin winning in retirement. Once again, here's Brian Akers. 
Hello, I'm Brian Akers. Um, thank you for listening to Winning in Retirement. Here with me today is Alex Monk, Certified Financial Planner Practitioner. We are here on the radio trying to deliver how we feel at Acres Financial Group about how you can be winning in retirement. Now, some people are actually in retirement right now, and they might not feel like they're winning. What we need to do is know how to win. If you're younger and you're trying to get ready so that you can be retired, and when you retire, you want to stay retired and you want to win in retirement, this advice that we're given on this radio show is all about the fundamentals of getting you to a place where you, too, can win in retirement. Acres Financial Group, we have our website, acresfinancial.com. That's A-K-E-R-S, financial.com. On there, you can see under um, our top of our website, you'll see documents. Under there, you'll see things such as identifying your financial fingerprint. Uh, basically, it's a process of getting you to a point where we understand where you are. And that's what we do with uh, um, people as they call, as we talk about where they are now. What do you feel about this unique financial fingerprint, Alex? You know, Brian, one thing that I don't really understand is how other people invest money for someone without knowing everything. I just don't feel that you can do the right thing for a person if you don't know their whole situation, their goals, their, you know, then their goals tell you so many things about their risk tolerance, their emotional relationship to money. I, I hate to be sound crunchy, but we need to know everything. It's a holistic thing. It really uh, is. And we call that starting where you are. What is your financial fingerprint? Just like a financial fingerprint is, is, is individual and different for everybody, your financial situation is different. Some of us have debt that we got to get rid of before we can really address savings. Some of us have some extra cash, and we need to know how to build a portfolio to make it work for retirement. Some of us are in retirement. We've seen our portfolios go down because we took too much risk. We don't know what to do now. So what we say is this. Go to our website, acresfinancial.com, or give us a call, and we can go over where you are and help you get to where you need to be. So as we left the third quarter of our show, you were talking about football, and you were talking about baseball. I brought in a little bit of basketball. <laughs> we, we mainly were talking about the stock market being down, and we're trying to find our way up. Now, in Baltimore and Ravens football, if we're in the lead and winning, we have a defensive way of playing football. We run the clock out by running, right, Bunk? Yeah, yeah, we got to bleed the clock down. We don't want to make any big mistakes. Something short, something simple. That sounds like a financial plan. It does. Well, it's not always simple, but we want to make that, that first bucket of money simple, right? That first bucket of money, it sounds like you're talking about is, what do I need to spend this month, mm -hmm. right? So if we're already winning and we have some cash on the side, then we can just spend a little bit of money. We don't have to take a lot of risk. That's the run game. If... If you feel like, oh, I've lost so much money and I can't sustain it, you need to do something about it now. And that, the answer is not always take more risk. Sometimes the answer is spend less money or restructure. Yeah, refinancing your debt, student loan debt or mortgage debt is something people should be looking into. If you can lower your future cost while interest rates are at an all-time low, you should do that in your financial planning. But also, there's things that you should be doing now, such as with the stock market, where it is, what should people be doing? What's your thoughts on that? The number one thing that we've been doing is Roth conversions, right? So this is a unique year for everyone out there. If you're over 70, turn it up. There's no RMDs this year. So that means you don't have to take that minimum amount. You can convert your first dollar out of your retirement account. That's massive. That's a huge break. If you have, I don't know, a million dollars in a retirement account, you might have to take out fifty, sixty thousand a year, depending on how old you are. Imagine if you could convert that to Roth. It makes it tax-free for your heirs. You can do it while, hopefully, what you own in your your IRA is down, so you can pick and choose. You say, oh, I want to keep these stock funds. Let's convert them to Roth. Let's pay the tax now while my stocks are at a discount. And then when they recover, which hopefully you own the right stocks, and that's part of the quality thing we were talking about earlier, we need to make sure 
what we're holding is going to do what we think, that is going to have tax-free growth into the future. And that benefits both you, the client, but also your heirs. Long-term family planning, it's a very, it's a great thing for the long term. One of the biggest reasons to consider Roth, Roth conversions are if your IRA is in stocks and it's lower, we can shift it to the Roth and then the tax, the tax-free growth as the market comes back will be all tax-free for you towards your future. This applies to anyone at any age. The second thing that we think is incredible is this, is that the tax rates today are cheaper than what the tax rates will be in the future. When we see a pandemic like we've been going through, and we see a governmental response of over $5 trillion so far of money coming into the national debt and more and more to come, we see interest rates going up. We also see, ultimately, tax rates going up. So we know where tax rates are now, 12% bracket, 22, 32, and they keep moving up. Understand this. You might not find a better year to pay your taxes in. So a Roth conversion is something you need to get a good second opinion on. We believe second opinions are the key thing that you need to do when it comes to where you are now. When you're feeling uneasy about your financial plan and how it's implemented through your investment or even your own um, insurance, annuities, and other decisions you've made, a second opinion is a very important thing to do. And I don't know about some of those other guys out there, but we are not your scorched earth earth place. We are going to bring everything you got to the table and see what's good, what's bad, what fits, what doesn't, and then work from there to build you a custom portfolio. Because there's things that people have, Brian, that we just can't get anymore. Some of the you know county employees at Nationwide may still have that three and a half fixed account. Mm-hmm. You can't get that anywhere. That's something we don't want to get rid of. So there's opportunities out there with things that people already own. There's opportunities with things that they need to own, that they should own, that they shouldn't own. Um, and, and right now, the bond market has recovered and stabilized in that high yield sector. I view this as a time to unload some of your risky debt assets and buy things that are safer. The government has said that they're going to prop that up for the time being. But I don't know. That's not going to always be the case. I think there's a lot of opportunity out there for people if it fits their plan. So the, yeah. the things that we say today, they don't apply to everyone. Right. It all depends on where you are. Let's say that you're looking to get ready to retire. We've, yes, we've had people retiring during um, this, uh, this um, sheltering in place. We've had people actually retire. Um, the funniest thing I had yesterday was a client who was going to retire. He goes, I've been sheltering in place for a month. I've mulched everything at our yard. I can't move my back. I can't wait to go back to work. And so he goes, I want to extend and wait to retire a little bit longer because um, my wife's going to kill me if I stay home much longer. I thought that was funny. But the reality is that... I had a similar call. I had a similar call. And I, he, he is telling me, Alex, I was going to retire. He's a school teacher. But this, I just, I can't retire if I have to stay in the house all day. And it's a weird time for everyone. That's not what we want retirement to look like. No, we used to say, and we should still say that at the beginning years of retirement, we call it a go-go phase. And right now, we can't go. Now, the exciting thing about America is they can't wait to go. There's a lot of governmental decisions that are going on here in the next couple of weeks to come out with a way that we can begin to go again in the future. I believe that as we see this coming out, it's going to be slower than we probably want it to be. But it's probably and absolutely the right thing is to be patient and to understand that this virus is something that's still unknown when it comes to how is it going to finish? How are we going to get a vaccine in place that's going to work? How are we going to be able to interact um, within six feet, you know, and have and have large games and large gatherings, all these things in the future? This will affect the stock market. The stock market, in my opinion, will not just go straight up from here. It's going to have volatility, up and down swings. And the thing is this. If you have money to invest, we think you ought to dollar cost average, buy a little bit over time. 
if you are drawing income, you need to have that money sitting on the sideline. Try not to be selling the stocks in a very volatile market. Unless it's an up day, you can trim a little bit for your income. When you're designing your plan, you really need to look at it and understand what's going on and know what your goals are. So knowing your goals and plans will lead to what's right and when it comes to your investments. A good second opinion will start with you and what's going on in your life. And Brian, I think a real important thing that we've learned throughout this is it doesn't matter what the rules are for life, we're still going to be there for our clients. Whether it's on the phone, whether it's in person, whether it's just calling them to say, hey, how the heck you doing? Because a lot of our clients haven't called panicking. But we want to be there in front of this because that's our job. Our job is to be professionals when it comes to investing, when it comes to finances. And life is always tied to this weird little stock market thing. <laughs> well, that's what we do. We help people through that. Absolutely. My, my goal is to understand them so well and understand their goals that we are their coach, their advisor through the good days and the bad days, helping them through it and achieve every goal that they have. So that with their group of Acres Financial Advisors and our, all of our team of people that work at Acres Financial, we love serving our clients. Thank you very much, Monk, for a good show today. I appreciate it. It was awesome. Um, what happens here at Winning in Retirement and Acres Financial Group is we invite you to have that second opinion by calling us. It might be a phone or a video meeting right now, but you call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-W-I-N-R-E-T-I-R-E. Uh, when you call, you can leave a message, and Susan will give you a call on Monday to set up that time. We thank you for listening. I'm Brian Akers from Akers Financial Group, and we want you to be winning in retirement. Imagine this. When you get home today, you get a call from your son-in-law. He and your daughter are on their way to the hospital to deliver your first granddaughter. You're in Maryland, and they're in California. But no worries. You just book a flight for you and your wife to leave in a couple of days so you can see your new granddaughter when she first comes home. You don't need to worry about flight costs or how long you can stay. Is this what you want in retirement? Then sit down with the team of advisors at Acres Financial Group. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Visit their website at acresfinancial.com or call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. Acres Financial Group was founded on the principles of integrity, trust, and service. We believe each and every client is unique and deserves advice and implementations that apply directly towards their personal financial fingerprint. This financial fingerprint tells us the objective risk tolerance and purpose of the investment and insurance tools that we use to assist their clients in reaching their goals by discovering the purpose of each financial decision. We can help you accomplish your goals. Intelligent financial design starts with a detailed balance sheet and cash flow to know where to start. This leads to a financial decision that will allow you to reach your goals with your risk tolerance in mind. Our relationships begin with an initial consultation and grows with each meeting. We would be thrilled to work with you and begin your planning process. Call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-946-7384. Or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Knowledge is power. How much better would life be if you had the power to provide a financial umbrella for your family, protect your estate, retire without any lifestyle compromise? Obtaining this kind of knowledge is as easy as making a call to Acres Financial Group. Acres Financial provides comprehensive, innovative, and personalized wealth management services. Call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-946-7384. Or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Appreciating was a paid program. And the views expressed on this show do not represent the views of WJZ-FM, Intercom Communications, its sponsors, or affiliates. The, the record holder.
Walters. In surfing, the Guinness Book of World Records has confirmed that Sean Dollar, a 32-year-old surfer from California, has grabbed the record for surfing the largest wave by paddling in in the U.S. It happened in December of 2012, about 100 miles west of San Diego. The wave has been verified as having a maximum height of 61 feet, beating the previous record of 57 feet. The world record for the largest wave happened in Portugal with a wave 78 feet high. Broadcasting from the Thompson Creek Window Company Studios, the one window replacement company that does it all. This is WJZFM, HD1, Catonsville, Baltimore, 1057, The Fan, a Radio.com sports station.